Good morning, welcome back to Veggie Plot. Uh, down in the polytunnel this morning, got quite a bit to do today. It's coming to that sort of crossover time of year where there's sort of chills in the air and it's colder at night, days are getting shorter, and so it's time to start thinking about what I'm going to be doing in the polytunnel over the autumn and winter, especially the winter. Some of the tomatoes are splitting and dropping the little um, sun gold here, some of the honeycomb have been doing the same which is really frustrating uh, so I want to get as many of them picked today as possible as I can there are lots of the cherry brandy wine let me show you over here which are really just absolutely ripe some of them are going going off as well so I need to get them in and then we've got these absolutely beautiful pink Barclay tie-dye look at that one absolutely stunning so there's a few of those which need to be harvested. There's lots of lucid gem and cucumbers and gherkins as well. So I'm going to crack on with all of that. It's uh, yeah, feels like there's a sort of pressure on now to get it down, harvest as much as possible, get it all packed away in the freezer or cooked up or sauces or whatever, and just start to make the transition slowly into winter, which is really <laughs> not, not so great. Anyway. Right, I'm going to crack on, um, fill the basket which I've got down here, same basket as usual, fill it up with everything and then see what we've got at the end of it. Lovely uh, Ladiva which have finally started to perform. This one's quite big but big for this type anyway I should say, they're quite a small cucumber but yeah it's really nice. Right put that down here in the basket, I think we've got a couple more in the back here, that's a beauty isn't it, look at that. Yeah, quite like these. Right, we've got a few mal sort of formed, misshaped ones, which I think I will take just a couple of them. And I think, yeah, you see they're all a bit not quite pollinated right or something. Anyway, right, put them down here and get some of the uh, gherkins. Not many cucumbers left, but a few that are that are got too big, obviously. But, uh, not cucumbers, gherkins. Did I say gherkins? Can't remember. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, look, they're all quite huge. Uh, they're nice. They don't go bitter, even though they've got so big. So I'm enjoying growing these. These will be on the list probably for next year. So that's those two. Oh, and another one here. Oh, right, that's those two. So. Yeah, right, put this in the basket. That's one, two, three, four, five, six gherkins. Right, now I'll get some of these tomatoes, these lovely lucid gems. So the one thing I've noticed about these lucid gem is that they don't last that long on the vine. If they start getting ripe, you want to pick them. You can see here, this one's got slight splits and the mold's got in and it's getting very squishy. So I shall use this one for seeds for next year. That's always a good thing. Cut it in half, scoop the seeds out, and save them. So they'll be good. So it's not a complete waste, but it is a shame because it was a beautiful tomato. I think a lot of these, which are just beginning to ripen up, I think I'm going to take home because I can't risk them going over. All right, I'll take this whole lot, I think. Although this one, which is super ripe, will. Just put that to one side and that can, I can come and pick that one up later when it's, uh, when I can do the seeds. These are beauties, look, look at the lovely colouring on that, uh, that anthracyanin on the shoulders going round to the lovely orangey yellow, gorgeous. This whole truss of them here, that's five, we're going to have so many to eat it's going to be amazing. <laughs> Are they stunning? Gorgeous. Right, put them in there. Next one is pink Barclay tie-dye. I think some of these tomatoes here have probably the best pink Barclay tie-dye we've had so far, especially this year. It's enormous. I should take it back, this is the biggest one ever. Look at the size of that. It's enormous. They're just amazing. Especially this one, I can't get over the size of that. Look at that. Just perfect. Absolutely amazing. Really, really happy with them. 
Uh, right, now I think what we need is some Brad's Atomic Grape. We've got some enormous ones coming here, look. But they're not ripe yet. There's, uh, they haven't gone red at all, so they're solid. But these are huge, these sort of plum type. Less grape, more plum, I would say. Brad's Atomic Plum. Anyway, <laughs> we do have some ripe ones, I think, dotted around, like this one and this one. They're gorgeous. So I'm just going to get on harvest a few of them because I have noticed that a few are, oh my golly look, we've got a caterpillar in there, can you see it? I've never seen that before. I thought it was going mouldy. Right, okay, <laughs> let's put that down there. I think we'll have that one off. Look at that. I wonder what that is. Anyway, I'll put him down there at the moment. He's enjoying his lunch and we'll let him have that and we'll just see what's available. These are perfect. They're getting a lot of light obviously at the back here, although it's not in sun because this is north facing there. Right, let's put these few in the basket. Blight really hasn't been on anyone's radar, has it? It hasn't sort of featured in the last year. Everything in the UK blight was everywhere and destroyed so many tomatoes. But I think I've definitely begun to get a little bit here on the leaves, you see? Just beginning. So I'm going to take this branch of leaves off. Hopefully it hasn't spread. There aren't many spores on it there, I can see, and this leaf. So I think it's obviously getting a bit damp in some places in here. So we need to have a bit of a leaf clear out. So now I'm going to get on with the small cherries. There are hundreds of them. So I think I'll get on with them. I'll come back to you when I pick them and put them in the basket. <laughs> it's a lot more open here so what I've been doing is cutting out the bits that have blight obviously on the tomato here but also giving everything a really big prune because we're just getting to that point now where any new flowers are not really going to produce many more tomatoes maybe on the tiny tiny ones maybe but not on these big ones so I've really thinned them out so hopefully this will let a lot more of the Sun get to the fruits and enable them all to ripen up before it starts getting too cold because we've got we've got pink barley tie-dye right at the top here. I think the only ones that I haven't picked now are these cherry brandy wine. They are very very nice but they are sort of red and it's funny I just prefer eating like the lucid gem and the others there. but yeah they're absolutely gorgeous they are worth growing absolutely masses of them. Yeah cherry brandy wine I'm just snipping these off with scissors because they don't actually separate from the truss that easily. So I'm just snipping them off one by one. That should do for now. Another, another five. You see the basket isn't, <laughs> there's too much in there now. I mean, look at it, it's enormous. And I found this um, La Diva cucumber just down the side. I totally missed it enormous anyway this is all the uh, all the leaf i've cut you can see masses of it so you might want to think about that if you're um in the polytunnel or wherever at this time of year you probably know all this anyway but yeah just need to give everything a good thin out uh, just to make sure you don't get blight there's so many so many of these little cherry cherries it's just amazing these are honeycomb absolutely gorgeous mm. You can taste tomato and there's a little bit of a sharpness too. They're really good. Anyway, I'm just going to show you what we've got today. Oh, heavy. <laughs> yep, that's the basket. I'm going to tip it too far because it might all fall out. Really pleased with those this today. Yeah, right. Let's head off up to the greenhouse where I've got a few chilies to get and another tomato that I know is ready. Oh, and one pepper, I think. Right, in the greenhouse, there are quite a few things ready in here as you can see on the plant. Look at this, extraordinary. I don't know if I can tell you how big that is. That's bigger than my hand. It's absolutely amazing. So really looking forward to this sweet pepper coming. We've got another one through there, green at the moment, another one here. 
But yeah, these are the orange pepperoncinis, which I mentioned last time. I'm not going to pick any today because they're okay. And these are the lovely uh, spaghetti chilies, which are doing all right. I'm going to let them be for the minute. And also these are the Mad Hatter peppers. But what I came in for was this tomato here, which is a, one of the surprise tomatoes, but I'm really enjoying these. Oh, it's got a little mark on it. That's not so it's not bad anyway, cut that out. But yeah, these are really delicious. So I'm saving seeds from these, although I have no idea what they are. <laughs> the other ones I wanted to get are through here. And these are the purple heartthrob. But I just wanted to show you, look at, look at these. If I can get that off the vine without, off the truss, too much damage. There we go. Look at that, isn't that a beauty? funny shape but lovely colour and lovely markings on it this sort of red and red and green and I want to get this other one because it's enormous let's see if we can separate that yep yeah look at that isn't that a beauty huge absolutely amazing stunning colours sort of greens and reds tasty too uh, I've got lots of peppers and chilies to come in another video and I shall cover them soon but for now I think we've got enough enough tomatoes uh, for this harvest I've got so much to deal with uh, the next video will probably be up at the allotment uh, I've got quite a few things to do up there there's all the potatoes to harvest and I've also got this allotment here which has got some raspberries and blueberries and potatoes to harvest there as well so hope you can join me in that one till then bye for now me and the tomato <laughs> see you soon